The Mintex British Historic Rally Championship took to the Welsh stages this weekend for the Rally Nuts Seven Valley stages and the weekend wouldn't be short of action. It would be Jason Pritchard that took the early advantage but it was close, just four seconds of a lead after the opening three stages of the day. Nick Elliott comes here with three wins already this season and was looking to make it four. Pritchard would be in his sights as the crews head into the afternoon stages. Sadly for Rudy Lancaster, the fight for the lead wouldn't quite go to plan. He'd been on the pace over the opening stage, but it would all go wrong in stage two when the car ends up in a ditch. In category two, it would be the lead for round three winner Phil Jobson. He'd have 19 seconds of an advantage there over Elliot Vitalik, but could that be changed in the afternoon stages? And in category one, it would be the lead for Phil Harris in the mini. Here this weekend, looking to make it four wins in the category. And indeed, as the day drew to a close, that's exactly what he did, taking the category win once again here in Wales. And there'd be no change at the top of category two either. Elliot Vitalik unable to catch the leader, having to settle for second this weekend. But that was still a class win to add to the championship points. But that means that it's two wins in a row now for Phil Jobson. Unfamiliar with these stages, but setting the pace all day long. In the overall results, there will be change. Nick Elliott goes into stage four and takes the lead from Pritchard. He responds with a fight back over the remaining stages, but unfortunately can only get within five seconds. Pritchard having to settle for second place once again. So that would mean the win for Nick Elliott. Four wins from four now, but the championship moves to asphalt for the next rounds. A surface dominated by Pritchard. So will we see the roles reversed next time out? You can catch full coverage from this round of the championship online over the next week and on TV in a few weeks' time. Keep an eye on ours and the championship's social media for updates.